I guess it'll be on the train, maybe? Let's see. Ah, yes. Let's have a look around. Looks comfortable. Bed and everything. These shelves look as if they're made for valuable objects. Indeed they do. These shelves look as if they're... Hey there, Oscar. My functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. Even if you are my first and only passenger. Me? Your passenger? Yes, you, Kate Walker. Is it not for that reason you completed my production process? If you say so. <laughs> Guess we're being thrown in here. Wouldn't be a video game if we weren't. Oscar, you know you could just call me Kate. It would be so much nicer, especially as we're going on such a long journey together. I am sorry, Kate Walker, but I have already logged your name. I cannot modify this data, and my functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. Well, I hope your functions permit you to learn the difference between being familiar and quite simply nice. I wonder if he, how he works. If he's not a robot, the, and, and he doesn't have computer parts, how does his memory work? No idea. Magic. The soul auxiliary, I guess. I'm on a mission, though. I can't just... I... I have decided to come along for the ride, Oscar. Ready when you are. Your ticket, please? My ticket? What are you talking about? <laughs> the rules clearly state, Kate Walker, every passenger of this train must possess a ticket. Okay. And where do I get hold of a ticket? Only the ticket vendor may issue tickets. You are in luck. The ticket office must be open now. You should go there immediately. <laughs> this is why I like Oscar. It also makes me wonder if Anna Vorlberg programmed him to be this rigorous with the rules. Must have been annoying to her as well. Thing needs to be done properly. But it's you? What can I do for you, madam? But Oscar, it's me, Kate Walker. Correct. Your name is indeed Kate Walker. <laughs> right. I need a ticket. What can I do for you, Kate Walker? A train ticket, please. Why? Do you sell anything else? The only function of this ticket office is to issue tickets. You are requested to accelerate operations. The office closes in exactly three minutes. What can I do for you? A ticket, please. One ticket? Yes. One ticket. What is your final destination? I, I don't know. It's you who told me I had to get a ticket. A ticket to travel, then. Lovely. <laughs> Amazing doing business with that guy. Oh, what's this? Authorization for access to all or part of the movable and immovable estate constituting part of an inheritance. Yes, I would be stealing a train otherwise, I guess. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Stamped by the recognized permitting authority. So I'll need to get this document stamped. There you are. Do not lose it. This office is not entitled to produce duplicates. This advice also applies to the accompanying documentation. What's that? The authorization for the release of the train. 
The ticket officer may ask you for it at any time. But I mean, you are the... Attention! The exact moment has arrived to close this office. So much hassle just for finding one guy. I need to go back to the uh, guy who deals with the inheritance to get a stamp on my form. Or I guess Oscar will be setting off the train considering his rules. Alright. So, on our way to get the stamp. Suppose it's still the same day. No bakery goods for me. I could just go in now. Oh no, I forgot the notary will be resting. Well, I guess I can't disturb him then. Let's just commit some fraud. I'm a lawyer. I can do that. Need the leaf permit. Yeah, that's the one. No ink. I have to find ink somewhere. Guess he doesn't have any in his desk that I can steal, seeing as how I'm stealing a train. Watered by the lack of ink. Considering that, there's, only, there's one more thing I guess we could do. We haven't really gone to the graveyard. They kept saying there is a... a, a body in the graveyard. Like Hans was killed as, as a boy and buried here in the graveyard. Which I assume is this way where we saw the funeral going. Um, but if he wasn't, if he isn't dead, then there shouldn't be a body. Hello. Okay. So what's new? We've got a problem, Mr. Marson. <gasps> what problem? Come on, Kate. Don't beat around the bush. There's maybe an heir. What? Hans, Anna Varlberg's brother. Uh, looks like he's still alive. We can't buy the factory without his consent. What? What is this? Where does this mystery brother come from? And more to the point, where is he? What did the notary say? <gasps> nothing. I mean, nothing else. You know, sir, it's an odd town here. Everything's odd. The people, things. The situation's not straightforward. I have a small bit of research to do. Listen to me, Kate. Universal Toys is one of our biggest clients, and I don't care how weird that town is. All that matters is that you do not set foot back in New York before you've tied up the deal. Get the picture. Yes, Mr. Marson. You can count on me. I... Darn it! I would love to work for a boss like that. Um, no. So we do have to find Hans, we already kind of established that, um, can't go back home until the contract has been signed, uh, that's probably like the family mausoleum considering they're the richest people in town, 
And I'm guessing that's the opening. I can't go that way. Okay. I need to find a way in once again. Back here. Maybe the pastor's home. I really love the fog in the background. With an air of mystery. No point, it's locked. Of course it is. Well, I did say I did not need a manual the very first time I played this game. I managed to figure everything out. Um, most puzzles are relatively straightforward. Um, if, if you really don't know what's going on, you can usually just uh, run around and click on things and see what happens. Um, unlike, for example, uh, Riven, which is horrible to play without a guide. Um, but there are some puzzles <laughs> in good tradition of this type of game where you wonder like why would my character think to do that like why am i stealing a key in the church well obviously because i need to go into the wardrobe why do i need to do that it, it, in real life this <laughs> wouldn't really make sense Hey, let's go with it. That punch card. Oh, this thing's jammed. What do you mean? Oh. Purple. Mm-hmm. Key. And a letter or some sort, yeah. To my successor, the Valadun parish priest. The sanctity of confession is a sacred vow, so these re revelations are the result of much soul searching and reflection. Hmm. So this, this letter is basically a confession from the previous priest saying that the uh, Hans Vorlberg was indeed not dead um, and it, it was just a, a lie by their father basically. So this confirms what we already thought, that Hans is alive. It's really... So what are these? Punch cards, a key, and did we... We did not... Oh, we did keep the priest's confession. So we could reread that if we really wanted to. No point, it's locked. Okay, back outside. I think we've done everything we could here. It's a beautiful tree. Now, can we use the lift? No, we need some cogs. And you may or may not remember Momo at my hotel um, had some 
things that he was playing with. He was he was drawing things and and um, he appeared to have the cogs. Uh, don't know if it's very clear in the game or or if you're just meant to run around until you find it. dropped them on the ground when he was uh, kicked out by the owner. Well, maybe you can so this is probably the layout we need to try to memorize a big cog. Do you have anything useful to say? I'm back again. Miss Walker? Ooh, going on a train journey. There's a train at the station platform. Can you tell me where it goes? No idea. We don't even know if it works. I thought it was some kind of prototype. Well, it technically is. I guess even the uh, automaton who drives it, Oscar doesn't know where it goes, really. Because he just gave me a ticket to travel. Um, I'm going to have to extend my hotel reservation. Stay as long as you need to. Really, it's no trouble. We're delighted to have a little bit of life at the inn. How many extra days will you be staying? I really can't say. I'm just not used to this sort of situation. It's so unexpected. First the alive person dies, next the dead person comes alive, it... It is indeed a very unusual situation. We have a cousin who has an inn in Bremen. He has problems with ghosts. Imagine, the ghost refuses to leave his room. The only way to move him was to give him a bed in the attic. <laughs> it seems that the ghost I'm looking for hangs out in Siberia. Well, that is very unusual. Please, do stay in the room as long as you wish. <sighs> if only I had a wish. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna go look around Valadilen. See you later. As you like, miss. Right. People who aren't familiar with the game may notice that um, he hands is in Siberia with an eye, the actual place on Earth called Siberia and the game is Siberia with a Y. It does get explained why that is. 